Talking college football with Rick Neuheisel, CBS Sports, Sirius XM. You can hear him on that channel. Good content there. Let's focus in on ASU and Utah. What do you like most about these two teams coming into Saturday's game, Rick? Well, I love uh, what Herm Edwards has done at Arizona State, finding ways to make every game close, right? He, he it knows what his hand is, and he plays it brilliantly. Uh, whether he needs to extend the game and, and be a time of possession uh, type approach or whether he can go up-tempo and, and, and come after you. He's bringing along Jaden Daniels, his freshman quarterback, I think at the exact right uh, pace. He was brilliant this last week, 26 of 36, over 300 yards and the three touchdowns and then scampered in himself uh, at the waning seconds to get the victory. Uh, I don't think you can ask much more from a quarterback, and yet, when he's in the, against maybe some high cotton uh, defensively, I think they're doing a nice job of managing him. That was the case when they were on the road against Cal, and it, I think it'll be the case again this week in Salt Lake City. What is it about a young quarterback and their ability to find a way to win in those big moments? I'll go way back here and go to Jake Plummer when I first saw him at ASU, and Jaden has the same characteristics. You go to Michigan State, not a big deal. Go to Cal, like you said, not a big deal. 37 seconds to go, I'm going to helicopter into the end zone. What is it about a young quarterback that they have to have that moxie? Well, they these kids have been winning everything they've done since they got into athletics. You know, when you're a 9- and 10-year-old, your first pick in kickball when you go to school, right? You're, yeah. you're, the, you're going to be the guy that everybody wants to have on your team. And the key uh, for the offensive coordinator and the head coach when you get somebody who's a proven winner like that is to make sure the offense doesn't complicate his will to win, that he's not sitting there trying to think so much that he loses sight of, hey, it's us against them. Because when it is us against them, they are so used to winning, they usually find the way to get that done. Talk with Rick Neuheisel. Let's focus over on U of A. You had their game out in Hawaii. They got smoked this past weekend by Washington. What do you make out of Kevin Sumlin's team this season? Well, I give Kevin and his staff a lot of credit because it was worrisome when they lost to the uh, Mountain West team, the Rainbow Warriors there in Honolulu. But uh, they came back and played some really good defense. And Marcel Yates, his defensive coordinator, has got to be really excited about that. Unfortunately, it wasn't the case in the second half against the Huskies. Yeah. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, Jacob Eason and company went right down the field and put up, uh, what, 40 points the second half. Uh, and they've, they've got to get that fixed if they're going to uh, be back in, in uh, the running. That was their first conference loss. That's, that's the good news. The bad news, they've got to go to Los Angeles and play a, a USC team that is now fighting for their lives and their coaches' life. Clay Helton, after losing to Notre Dame, which was the third time in a row, is on the ropes as the head coach at USC. I mean, people may tell you otherwise, but those are, those are the facts. Trojans are used to being in the elite company, and they're not right now, and it doesn't sit well with their uh, their alums. So this is a must-win situation. And the last time I felt like they were in a must-win situation, they had Utah come to town. So. Yeah. Arizona's going to have to play a whale of a game, in particular on defense. That back end cannot get exposed by the threesome of receivers that uh, the Trojans have, uh, St. Brown, Bonds, and Pittman, who are all really, really good players and will probably play on Sunday. Stay well. Appreciate your time, as always, and we'll see you back here after the season. Thanks, Rick. Okay, Brad. Take care, bye.